Hey guys, what's going on? Uh, Dex Newberry here with Shift Entertainment, and I'm just going to make a real quick video today um, just talking about uh, MIDI control of Show Express by Chauvet. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started here. Open up your control board. And right here, anywhere on the screen on control board, just right click and go to DMX MIDI Patch. Once you're on this screen, select MIDI input, and then you'll be able to select whatever MIDI device you plan to, to use, whether it's a MIDI keyboard. I'm using the Newmark Orbit in this case. Um, I've also used Ableton, and I'll make another video on that. Uh, but right now, we'll select the Orbit. And then I've already got a scene pulled up. If you don't, just create one with your editor. You can import your fixtures with setup. Create a scene with your editor. There's tons of videos on that. If you don't know how to do that, I suggest uh, you check out DJ Mikey Mike from Direct Sound. has a lot of videos up on that. Uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and open up our live scene. And we've got our buttons all laid out here for the different things. These are the uh, geyser RGB commands. Um, so uh, I've got these set up as flash buttons. Now you can set those up to whatever you want. What a flash button is, if you're not familiar, um, it allows you to turn it on, but then when you let your finger off, it goes off. All right, and if you'd like to set your button up to perform that way, um, which with MIDI control, I personally prefer for most things, um, just right click your button and select flash button and that'll take care of that. Um, but getting back to uh, actually mapping out our buttons, you will set your buttons up. You, you can see here I've got them set up on MIDI notes. See how they say 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, and so on. Um, what that means is this is MIDI channel 1, note 0, note 1, note 2, note 3. Okay, so if you can imagine, um, say, an 88 key MIDI keyboard or however however big note zero is going to be the lowest one okay the furthest one to the left working your way back up uh, the keyboard so what we're going to do is we're going to right click here and we're going to go to button trigger you're going to select MIDI channel one you should be on note and then you can select which MIDI note as data that you want to map that button to and then you'll just hit apply now that you've got your MIDI note set to that button your MIDI controller just needs to if, you, if you're using a keyboard as your MIDI controller you'll hit the lowest key on your keyboard to trigger that button um, personally I'm using the Newmark Orbit and for those of you who uh, have the Orbit I'll go ahead and show you what I've done here in my orbit editor. I've just set up, um, oh, I guess I'm going to need to plug it in and hold on one second here. Uh, let's retrieve it. Yeah, there we go. So um, I've set up my orbit editor uh, over here. You can see this is channel one. They're all channel one. Note 0, Note 1, Note 2, and Note 3. And those are going to set off big, huge clouds of uplit haze from the Geyser RGB. If you're not familiar with that fixture from Chauvet, look that up because it's an incredible hazer. Um, and so I'll go ahead and just trigger these here with uh, the orbit so you can see. There's the orange, green, red, and blue. And then I've got these other lighting effects over here that I can hit. You can see you can hit multiple things at a time, um, which is really cool. Um, another cool thing about the Newmark Orbit is that not only is it wireless, which is a, a cool feature, but it allows me, you see how my buttons are colored here? So I've got my geysers, all my, uh, basically my big haze clouds are these four buttons right here on the left. So I've actually got those colored, so I don't have to do a lot of thinking when I'm out at a show. I can just hit the orange button and know that I'm going to get an orange blast or a red blast um, or green or blue and so on. Um, and then this is just a basic setup. I mean, you can map 
that big center knob uh, to control dimmer effects um, or, or all uh, just a world of things that you can do with it. Um, but I hope this helps you out, guys. If you have any questions uh, or comments, uh, please leave them in the comments. Uh, like and subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be making uh, some more videos with some more cool tips for lighting uh, and audio. So I hope you enjoy.